Chief Leonard Prodog began his spiritual journey yesterday. And the family, I want the family to know that people on the farthest west part of so-called Turtle Island send prayers and love to the Crow Dog family. Leonard Crow Dog left a lot of medicine for the people. I'm asking for a moment of silence for our medicine man, Leonard Crow Dog. And now I'd like to sing the American Indian Movement song in honor of Chief Leonard Prodog. And when 
we say no as the people. That enforcement and that effect of the heart attack, who case? impact every single one of us in the public interest and in the public safety. It's everything is done in the public interest and the public safety of each, every person and being on the unceded lands of the Coast Salish. I am Stalo Coast Salish. I ask of the Department of Justice of Canada to respect its own laws and that we, the people, declare Teal Jones permit expunged. <laughs> Teal Jones. In public interest and the public there they are with the DLT. Of each tree and each insect that depends on those trees and including all the hummingbirds and all the eagles and all the ravens and all the bears and all the wolves and each caterpillar and each moth every single living being and on behalf of the public we stand here to give force and effect as the people of so-called Canada, British Columbia, to the Haida Taku case and Delgamuk. Yes. These cases also protect you as immigrant and settler peoples. These rules and these regulations to continue giving permits to do clear cut during climate change is another shame on Justin Trudeau. When I say shame, you say on Trudeau. Shame. On Trudeau. Shame. On Trudeau. Shame. On Trudeau. And we as the people so-called taxpayers in the public interest and in the public safety are standing here doing the work of the police. We are standing here doing the work of the Department of Justice as the department represents the Queen. to know that this might be a Teal Jones permit, but we're also standing here to oppose Trudeau's bitumen pipeline and Site C and LNG, and we want people to give hemp lands a chance. We want to make justice transition to new inventions so that people will always have work. Oh, sorry. We don't want to take oh. anybody's jobs away. We're not here to take anybody's jobs away. Oh, oh, right. But we are demanding respect as the people. We did not give, make a vote on any treaties ourselves in that we need every single logger and his family to know that we want you to demand of your government. We want you to demand of your government transition to hemp lands, not tar sands and clear cut logging. We must be able to think a way forward. We must be able to affect that political policy and legal change. We want everybody here to demand of your federal government 
to give force and effect to Delgamo and to the Haida Taku case. Those two instruments affect you too as settlers. These instruments cost many lives and multi-millions of dollars. And the permit system of so-called British Columbia must take into consideration that some of us have no treaties. And those of us that do have treaties did not decide for you or you or you or you or you. The phony system. It's a phony system. It's chicanery at the deepest level for the Department of Justice to withhold giving force and effect to these instruments that would protect us. We want to repeal Stephen Harper's Bill C-38 and 45. We have so much work to do because of the people that we've elected turning their backs on us and taking money under the table as corporates. Shame! They have no shame! We need the people that we elected to act on our behalf and not just on the behalf of foreign investors. I stand here taking full credit, defeating Kinder Morgan with all of you at some point or another. I stood in the courts fighting against them with 10 lawyers and Francis Mahan, a lawyer and myself, defeated Kinder Morgan. That is the good God honest truth if there is a God. Solidarity! Water is life! We have to protect our remaining watershed. Even if there is a treaty with the Manok and the Hachi Dot and the DT Dot. Even though they might have a treaty, they speak for themselves on that Indian Reserve. They don't speak for you or me. The Pachi Dot and the DT Dot are man-made instruments of so-called Canada. And we must see ourselves in a good way, whether you're wearing a uniform or not, to see that this is the correct thing to do, to demand of your Department of Justice. to demand of your Department of Justice. To give force and effect to the court cases from 1997 and 2007. Delgamuk and the Haida Taku. Haida Taku. Delgamuk means Delgamuk. our oral history is acceptable on our feet in re making relationships with each policeman which each person writing policies at the department of justice it is about making relationships that work for all of us not just teal jones and teal jones family this is so criminal we need the Department of Justice to recognize and affirm these roles so that we can protect ourselves. Thank you for opening up the circle. We invite Justin Trudeau to come to the table as the people, taxpayers of so-called Canada, 
we invite you to the table on the stolen lands of the Coast Salish in and around so-called Surrey. We invite you to give force and effect to those instruments and not to throw people like Edgar Schmidt who did work for the Department of Justice and he was thrown in jail because he tried to dust off the Niska court case from the 1970s. He was put in the nut house, but we're watching now and you can't do that anymore, Trudeau. Please discuss sit a quam quam cha to leave us out the swallowell. Equus hack will accept us the E was ye see all of that. Chief Ahmed said, "Lam kumat stam, eh, kus to us." And you thought that your dad knocked the language right out of us, but you failed, and so did your dad, Trudeau. The white paper is a failure. We are standing here with our eyes wide open to protect the sacred. To together be doing the Prime Minister's work on behalf of Her Majesty the Queen. Her Majesty the Queen is in mourning, Trudeau, and you should not be doing these harmful things to we the people by giving permits to clear cut during climate change. When I say shame, you say on Trudeau. Shame. On Trudeau. Shame. On Trudeau. Shame. On Trudeau. There must be a way to impeach so-called elected leaders that fail to give force and effect to our so-called constitutional rights. We are not When I say we are not criminals, I want you to say we are standing on our constitutional rights. We are not criminal. We are standing on our constitutional rights. We are not criminal. We are standing on our constitutional rights. We are not criminals. Right back. Stand up for your rights. Stand up for your rights. Stand up, stand up. Stand up, stand up. Stand up, stand up. Stand up, stand up. for your rights. Stand up for your rights. So rights actually means building relationships. That is not a funky and scientific thought. It is redefining our relationship with each other when we have to and it is defining a relationship with our constitution it is defining our relationship with the department of justice it is about creating a people's declaration to demand of so-called Trudeau and Horgan to give protection to the forests and the waters like they had promised during their election campaigns. We have nothing but deceit and lies and chicanery to this point. And I thank every one of you, each and every one of you witnessing here right now. Thank you. That we have each other. That's all we have. Who protects us? We protect us. Who protects us? We protect us. Who protects us? We protect us. 
Trudeau, Woo! we are having to do your job for you because you have failed your job. You tried to get China to undo the Foreign Investment Protection Agreement, and China kicked you right in the ass out of China. And so now we are left to protect our remaining estates. There's no wonder that there's so few of us because of the violence of the Trudeau government and all the way down. Trudeau says about the missing or the uh, loved ones that were found at the Kamloops Indian Residential School on mainstream media on June 8, 2021, with a bold face saying the international community is now welcome in to look into all of the deceased that we killed during the Indian residential school era. And the Canadian government's going to stay out of it and we're just going to let the Indians look after it. Nothing about the Roman Catholic Church. Nothing about any of the Synod. Nothing. Right here, right now, I ask of the international representative of so-called Canada, Stephen Lewis was the last person that I know of, to make an application on behalf of we, the so-called taxpayers of so-called British Columbia, to protect our remaining watershed in so-called Ferry Creek. We ask of Stephen Lewis to give protections in a way that no one else can afford to. We ask, even though Canada does not have a lieutenant governor. So we are asking the Queen of England to step in to help protect the remaining estates of the so-called beautiful British Columbia and disallow the federal government from handing out more permits for clear cuts. It's not British, it's a beautiful country! Who is to protect our people and each other if Canada is using its arms as if we're the crime scene? It's not true. We are not the crime scene. We call on the international court to come out and assist the people of so-called British Columbia who oppose clear cuts, bitumen pipelines, Site C, preventing real inventions that can replace those very colonizing and genocidal practices. Give hemp lands a chance. We don't want to take Teal Jones and your family's jobs. This is about everybody's right, not just about Teal Jones paying so-called John Horgan the hypocrite for a permit. How much money did Teal Jones give to John Horgan for the permit? The people want to know, especially the taxpayers of so-called British Columbia. We want the Department of Justice to respond to the people and the taxpayers in the public interest, in the public safety for each tree and each other.
There's not much more I could add to that, but I am asking for everyone to ensure that each other is safe from these goons that are unknowing, that have no jurisdiction over the Coast Salish and unceded lands. They're a bunch of bullies with guns. It's a system rot with the missing and the murdered and shame on Canada. When I say shame on Canada, you say for the missing and the murdered. Shame on Canada. For the missing and the murdered. Shame on Canada. Shame on Canada for the missing and the murdered. For the missing and the murdered. Shame on Canada. For the missing and the murdered. I'd like to hear a response from any one of you to keep our conversation going to what I just said. So I'm asking any one of you as settlers to respond to anything you think you heard me say as a Coast Salish and a scholar woman who's been raped and pillaged for more than 500 years. I'd like to say thank you. Hi, Chika. Thank you so much for sharing such an impassioned story with so much confidence. It's really hard to speak about things like that when it's personal. Um, and stay strong and stay clear with the message. It's easy to be overcome by emotions. And, and you're a very strong person, obviously. And thank you for demonstrating that to all of us so that we can take from that a lesson on how to be ourselves. Um, I'd also like to say that it's evident these fights have been happening for just so long. For too long. And if there's ever a time for things to come to a head and find their way into actual resolution, it has to be now. Uh, so I'd like to say, as, as I mentioned, you know, we'll take from that lesson how to be, maybe we can all take a task home with us to get someone who wouldn't show up here today on their own to show up to another event, to realize that here we are all in agreement on, on these things. Some of us know more than others, but we all know in our hearts uh, what's right and what's wrong with regard to what's happening in our province and our country. And we all know someone, maybe many people, who maybe agree, maybe disagree, maybe don't understand. And it's those people who we need to reach out to, who we need to have showing up on a Monday morning or a Saturday afternoon. It's literally everyone. We need everyone to represent how we feel. There's numbers circulating that 85%, 95% of British Columbians are against old growth logging, that they recognize that now is the time to stop. Where are they though? If we're two dozen people here this morning, where are all of the other people? They're, they're busy. So what we need to do as individuals, something we can easily do, is explain the priorities and make sure that we're blasting our social media personally, our Instagrams, our messengers, pick up your phone and send text messages to just every single person you know who might be able to show up. Get the crowds out. Get people to identify themselves with bumper stickers, letters in their windows at home, in their businesses. Make the city show, your city, this city, whatever city you're in, make them show their colors. Get the message out there because we can't keep circulating within our own belief systems, we can't keep preaching to the choir, we need to get this message out and we need to have it clearly blasted by the media that British Columbia and Canada is over old growth logging and that tied into that becomes a systemic genocide that's been happening for a long time and the only way that we could even begin to think 
that it's going to come to an end and find true reconciliation is to end the projects that are furthering the genocide. 